George Pataki sent out a note to the media saying he was going to be announcing something here in New Hampshire on May 28th. Well, when we found out it was going to be here in Exeter, the birthplace of the Republican Party, it became pretty apparent what the announcement was going to be. The former three-term governor who has flirted with running for president on more than one occasion made it official Thursday morning here at Town Hall. We're here in Exeter, New Hampshire, birthplace of the Republican Party, Abraham Lincoln's party, who saved the Union and who brought the promise of freedom to all Americans, Teddy Roosevelt's party who fought for the square deal so that the rich and powerful couldn't limit the freedom of working Americans. And Ronald Reagan's party, who restored Americans' belief in ourselves and in the transcendent value of freedom. The freedom that has given us the greatest country the world has ever known. The freedom that a man named Amos Tuck declared the foundation of that party right here in Exeter, New Hampshire. The same freedom that I fear is at risk today from an ever more powerful, more intrusive government in Washington. It is to preserve and protect that freedom for us that I stand here today. It is to preserve and protect. It is to preserve and protect that freedom for future generations that I speak. It is to preserve and protect that freedom that this morning I announce I am a candidate for the Republican nomination for President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Go back, Kitchen. You've been going too long on the national spotlight. I think having been in the private sector is a bonus. I've spent plenty of time in government. I know how government works and how to run it, how to change it, how to reform it and move it forward. But I also know what the private sector is about, and I think that's a plus.